Oops. Hello everyone. This is Cass from Boom Gel Stain. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video um, using our coasters, our acrylic coasters. So it comes in a set. So in it you get the four acrylic rounds and the felt um, backings. And they've already got the self-adhesive um, sticker in place or lining. So essentially what you do is they... Now, I've got a couple of um, non-sellable discs here that I'm just going to show you as an example. So, the acrylic discs themselves come with a coating on either side. And the felt rounds actually come um, with a protective coating in place. And once you peel that off, the adhesive is exposed. So, you don't touch any of that until you're ready to go and attach it. Okay, so I'll just show you these ones. These are ones that um, I actually was having a play around with last week, which I think they came up great. So the really good thing about this is I can now, because my artwork is underneath, I've actually dipped onto it, and then I've got my acrylic coaster down. I can actually um, put hot coffee cups on here um, with no damage to my artwork. So it's fantastic. And then I've gone and attached my felt backs. So that's how they come. The four acrylic rounds and the self-adhesive um, felt backings. Now is that centered? Oh gosh, look at my nails. Terrible, in a way, don't look. Um, so, like I said, this is actually, unless our rounds are spectacular nothing gets sold so um this is got a bit of overhang here so as far as i'm concerned that's unworthy of being sold so i'm going to use it today so here's how easy they are so i've got my protective backing still in place all i'm going to do here is actually draw out a circle and that's just so i know that i want to at least cover that area and then I'm just going to pop down some colours. So, what am I going to do? I might just start off with a little bit of sterling wax white. Okay, so that's our white. Um, I don't really know what I was going for here, but anyway. That's our um, pearlescent dark blue. Just need to check I am recording. Oh, yep. Okay. <laughs> That's our Mana Crab Blue, which is just divine. Now, I'm just going to blow that around a little bit and then add some gold. So, this contraption here is just my wide bore straw. I'm working from one side, so it makes it difficult. I might just spin this around. That might make it a bit easier. Um, now, this paper is called um, Binko Art Paper. It's very similar to Yupo. Um, I don't have to use it. I just find it convenient for me, and it's great because I can let my skin dry on there and frame it later. So, for me, I love it. But... This could be any um, substrate. It could be a silicon mat even. But I do recommend having something that you can lift your hand under. Um, some people find that much easier for when they're dipping their coasters. So you can see there's no talent to that. We're just literally blowing our boom around. And then all I'm going to do is add some metallic gold and just blow that around as well. But this could have been a flip cup. So it's whatever you're comfortable with doing. That's my doggy coming outside. So again, I'm just going to blow. And 
just spread that out a little bit. Let's turn it around, play the other way. I'm getting a bit of dust and So just make sure that that circle edge is completely covered. Okay. So if I know that if I let this sit for 10 minutes, I'm going to it's going to start moving around a bit more, but for video purposes, we don't want to have to wait. So I can just tilt it out like there's an area here that's not completely covered. This is the other reason I love this Binko art paper. I can just fold it and stretch it. And it's a lot less work for me too. And it's a lot easier. I'm no good at tilting, so. There we go. So that center area, I feel like it needs a little bit of something. So I might just come through like that. See what happens. So, like I said, this could have just been a simple little flip cup, and then I could be dipping into that. This doesn't have to be um, complicated. I just want to get rid of that center bit because if I don't um, go and center it exactly, it's going to be a bit silly looking, if that makes sense. I don't want to have to try and have my coaster centered on something. Okay. The good old finger kisses never fail. Okay, so I'm starting to get a little bit of movement happening there. So let's just pretend I'm happy with what I've got. Um, if I wasn't doing a video, I'd probably work that a little bit more and just wait for some other cells and some lacing to occur, but we're not going to. Okay, so I've just peeled off my first layer of the protective cover. So this side doesn't have anything in place. I'm then going to dip down so I recommend not taking your cover off until you are absolutely ready to go or else it just gets some um, dust and stuff on it. Okay, now I intentionally did this. See how we've got some little gaps? Yes, it will smush out my design a little bit, but if you have those, you do need to push down and get rid of them, just like you would when you're doing a standard dip, okay? All right, so now I'm going to pick that up. And I want to be careful. I don't actually want to scrape the design underneath. I might just try it with my fingers first. So let's just, these edges, they are going to wipe clean. So we don't need to worry about any of that. Okay, so then, isn't that gorgeous? Even that's beautiful. So then what we're going to do is actually, so let's pretend you guys are at home, you're doing it, you've just dipped it, then you're just going to sit it on top of something and leave it for seven days to cure. That's it, all right? So we're just going to pretend that I've done that, <laughs> all right? Let me just check that we're still in the view of the camera. Okay, so we're pretending that's sat and cured for seven days. Now I'm going to flip it over. And I've got that other protective coating on here, remember? So this is tricky because it's wet. So I hope I don't drop it. So. Look at that. So there's our coaster. Isn't that gorgeous? So nothing fancy. Really easy. And. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So I'm going to set that aside and we will leave that to dry. Okie dokes. Now I do have another design that I was going to have another little colour combination. So what I might do, 
I'm actually going to flip this over. Oh, let me just recenter you guys. Sorry. This won't be wasted. I'll be able to use that for something. Let's just dust that off. Really, I should have done a circle here and a circle there. Okay, so here's my second one. You can see, see, I couldn't sell that. That's terrible. Okay, um, so I'm going to... Oh, pop that down. Run my pen around it. So this time I thought we'd try... Um, a little bit of black. So this is our Willy Wagtail Black. Um, and I'm actually just going to spread that around a little bit. These palette nice. That's not me snoring, by the way. I can't talk and snore. That's my... <laughs> Up. She is such a snorer. Oh my goodness. She is gorgeous, but she's a very, very loud snorer. Insane, actually, but anyway. Okie dokes. So that's Willy Wagtail Black. Now, all I'm going to do is just pop down a little bit of this. This is our pearlescent mauve, which is another pretty, pretty colour. Um, now, this in here is actually our Boom Mica Powder. This is Mauve Rose. Um, first, I've mixed it with a little bit of water, and then I've actually gone and added our Clear Flow Medium, which makes it perfect to use then. So I'm just going to... And this is such a nice colour. I hope you guys can see it in the camera. It's um, got a bit of a colour shift to it. So we're just going to lay some of this down. Daisy, do you have to lay right there and snore? Okay. So that should be plenty. Okie dokes. And then what am I going to do? I'll pop a little bit of black on top there as well. Just a tiny bit. All right, so all I'm going to do is just blow that around. All right, that's quite pretty. So all I'm going to do now is actually just stretch that out a little bit. If it takes too long because I'm outside and boom is quite thick, I might just... Um, might take a bit. I might just put on some more then. So there we go. I know that my circle is at least covered. So again, I've got my... Daisy, you're so loud. You're so noisy. I've got my trusty protective coating. I'm going to remove that because I'm ready to dip. Now, look, I can just put it straight down, but I am hoping not to smush this out too much, this design. There we go. So do make sure you get rid of any air bubbles. And you can see I've moved it around and smushed it a bit, but it doesn't make it look bad. It actually gives it a really smoky effect. This doesn't always happen. It's just, 
just want to make sure that they're all gone. Okay, so I'm just going to lift this up. There's one area here. I don't know if you guys can see it. But this is slippery. I just want to make sure I've got that covered. No, I haven't. See that? There we go. We have now. So even though I went down into that a couple of times, it's still really nice. Okay. Here we go. Now, so that is the side that's going to be covered, remember, with our felt backing once it's dried. But you can see that colour. Any bubbles, I absolutely recommend popping them as soon as you see them. So that one I just blew. Um, and that's because they will stay. So it will actually, they will start to dry before the um, boom um, actually covers up where that bubble was. So I'll just check. Make sure I don't have any more. All right. So now, when I find the edge... So this is going to be much easier for you guys because you're going to, it really is much easier working with a dry piece to hold. So having it to cure for the seven days really is a blessing. So there we go. So you can see I've got some areas that are quite transparent and that's because um, my pearlescent mauve and of course my mica mix, they're transparent but... It doesn't actually look terrible. It looks amazing. I hope this is coming up in the camera. So you can see that. So we've got that resin-like finish. I haven't done anything spectacular. And once that's cured, I've got a heat-proof coaster. I hope you guys can see that. Oh, gosh, I love that colour, Mica. It's so pretty. You can see the colour shift in it. Well, I can, so I hope it's coming across. Okay, so that's it. So I would leave that upside down to cure for seven days then once it's dry I go and peel off my protective label on my uh, felt uh, backing and then I will actually attach it the for attaching I will do a separate video but I have found it much easier if I actually have my felt in this hand um, let me see if I can show you guys so that's my felt. Pretend that's the adhesive side up. I actually tend just to grab my hands, bring them down together, and then line it up that way. And then I just push down really hard um, for a minute just to make sure that I've got good um, adherence. And that's it. And that's just how I have found it much easier doing it that way to make sure that they are actually exactly where you want them to be. If you go down, you do run the risk of it attaching before you've um, completely lined the felt and the coaster up. So that's why I find that way actually much easier. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.